However, this light is usually too faint for small, rapid objects, or even goes out after a while. In this way, cellular structures or virus-sized particles can be observed 100 to 1000 times longer, 10 to 100 times faster and with almost doubled resolution than with fluorescence microscopy. We are exploiting several physical phenomena familiar from everyday life, explains Rohrbach. First, small objects like molecules, viruses or cell structures scatter, or distribute. Blue light the most which is known from the air molecules in the atmosphere and that we perceive as blue sky. Quote dot dot dot. This is familiar to us already as well. If you hold a wine glass at an angle to the light it's far easier to spot dirt or fingerprints. Thirdly, the scientists illuminate the object successively from each direction with the oblique laser beam because illumination from only one direction would produce a lot of artifacts. So in 10 minutes we already have 60,000 images of living cells, which turn out to be far more dynamic than previously thought, says Rohrbach. The granules contain the transmitter histamine, which can subsequently lead to allergic reactions. Observing the binding behavior of virus-sized particles in another series of experiments, the researchers were able to observe how tiny virus-sized particles dance in incredible speed around the rugged surface of scavenger cells, taking several tries to find a binding point on the cell. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.